Hi, I'm Carcina. Oh, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. No one knows Carcino and none of these. There's so much going on in the world. And I'm just giving my two cents on it. Go in and do a raid at someone's house, but you don't have an arrest warrant for them. Dropping the epic disc record the same day. He was like, I'm not playing. I want to go out to Drake and show him who the real lyricist is. Bop for bop. It was me. <laughs> Rose the whole time. <laughs> Oh my God! Champagne moments. <laughs> oh my God! Your man started right off. Hold on. We just did a video, a live stream, breaking down the Drake song. And what did somebody in the chat start telling me Rick responded already? And I said, what? And what was my response to Ross in that video before this song was even heard? This is when Rick Ross dropped his song earlier today. And I was in the right, we were breaking down the Drake video. And Rick Ross song dropped the same day. Yeah, the rapper when he's pushing 50, that was Rick Ross, but nobody cares about him. <laughs> if anybody who didn't know, that was Rick Ross. When he was talking about the rapper pushing 50, that's Rick Ross. He probably already did. Keep dying that damn beer. Yeah, it's Ricky Rose. I was like, oh my God, I can't, I can't, I can't with Rick Ross. Hustling every day, I'm every day, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling. I know Noriega, the real Noriega, he owe me a thousand favors. I, from that point on, I knew this dude was all cap. <laughs> he, he was all cap. <laughs> <laughs> that bar right there told you, yep, get ready. <laughs> the, the cap the cap meter on this dude. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. We just talked about that. Just talked about this dude and his cap meter. He's like, y'all gonna slobber all over. You already prepared to hate on something that ain't even happening happen after this. this. I'm gonna get you busy. It's for all the top dogs dropping. Give me 50. So, going through the Rick Ross situation, I told y'all what Ross is. I was the best thing for him. Like, he should be praising Rick Ross. My goodness, we just went through this. This man should be praising Drake. Rick Ross should be praising Drake. You should be praising Drake, dog. Straight up. You should be praising Drake. You should be worshiping the ground he walk on. That's real spill. You should be worshiping the ground he walks on. And the reason you should be worshiping the ground he walk on is simple. You were not even relevant anymore. 
All your stuff was triple wood. The only song you had that was doing some traction is the ones with Drake. You ain't had a platinum album probably ever. <laughs> Dudes, it's like, what are you even making records for anymore? You just talk about a bunch of random shit that don't mean nothing. <laughs> nothing. Not nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Not nothing. Nothing. You are a bunch of words that mean nothing. <laughs> if there ever was a word or a, anything that would just solidify saying a bunch of words that mean nothing, Rick Ross, the rapper, Rick Ross, a bunch of words that mean nothing. That's you, homeboy. This damn clout chasing ass Rick Ross because this bum sit up here and I'm glad he did it because everybody kept begging man we need a Ross and Drake album no we don't everything Drake did on with that bum is the only thing that he had that was hot Damn. money in the grave is the best thing they didn't put out because Drake is on it, <laughs> it. So. period facts so he was carrying that bum facts <laughs> Carrying the bum. Yeah, they recorded the song together. K Dot saw all the writers in there writing for Drake. He saw that whole process. He saw them dudes all hell no. <laughs> I swore I wouldn't tell <laughs> back at Drake because Drake was taking shots at him on us. That's an MC. An MC don't need that much. <laughs> now Rick Ross put out this song. So, like I always told you, and with this guy, everything about him is about some materialistic bullshit and a bunch of stuff that don't mean nothing. And he starts to diss record right off with exact. I mean, it starts off with it. That's how bad it is. It starts off with the material bullshit from the jump. From the jump, it started right off with that bullshit. I swear to you, I ain't never seen nothing like it. It starts off with the material shit. <laughs> My family, a lot of people. Mm -mm -mm. I just saw something that just messed up my day. Yeah, the phone's upstairs. Damn. Too bad. Too bad. So sad. I'll be glad. Now, what I need to do is get this thing cracking. So let's get to this because I don't want to make this long. Because this is Rick Ross. <laughs> Nobody cares about Rick Ross at all, let alone me. So let's just get the pain over with quick, fast, in a hurry. So we ne never have to listen to this again. Fish tanks and marble floors living big and bad. Fish tanks and marble floors. Here we go. A Rick Ross song. Told you on the last thing. What he be rapping about? Selling wings. Whoop! Chicken wings. Go to wing stop. Get the new lemon peppers with the new drops. With the hot sauce drop drip. And get some of this rose champagne to wash it down with. Marble floors and linens. <laughs> What the? What the fuck is he talking about? What is he talking about? This, 
Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, what is he talking about? This is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. Okay. The talking was better than the rap. He should have just talked the whole song and let the beat play. That was the best part of it. Other than that, it's trash. This is absolute trash. Drake should just tell him this. If we was to fight right now on the streets, I'll break your fucking neck. And that's on my kids. And you know it, I know it, and the whole world know it. And I'm not talking about no fighting in the ring. If me and you was to fight outside, I will break your neck. That's about all you need to tell him. Because, <laughs> I mean, why we even respond to that? That is official doo-doo. I mean, really, it is doo doo. That that a fifty year old man. I didn't watch this dude mess up Nas songs, Nas records because they made Nas get on the song with him because he was on Def Jam. And they was like, "Man, we got to get a Ross feature on your album." Nas didn't want to do it. He came in there and screwed up Nas record. <laughs> hmm. Well, it's a little flaky. I mean, what? The nose job? Man, everybody knows Drake got a nose job. Who don't know Drake got a nose job? Everybody act like this is something different. Of course, he got that nose fixed. Drake nose is like this. It was smashed up. It was like he was, he was out here looking bad. So he just got it fixed, longed out. He got the, the long job. He came out there. If you see Ceno with his nose like this, and I'll be, mean, I ain't had no nose surgery. I'll be like, nah, God. <laughs> he got that, he got that thing chained. That thing was all jammed up. Now his nose come down on his face. Please stop hyping. Stop saying that. Would somebody please stop? Stop using those words, man. Stop saying he viciously responded. This come on now. Y'all just there's so many of these academic clones out here, man. It's 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 ridiculous. Y'all, y'all embarrassing yourselves. Y'all really think like that's how you gotta make it in this game. I gotta be like academics. I gotta be a fat nerdy hipster. You don't, dog. Come on, just stop. You got you a gaming chair and some headphones and you, you think you academics. It's like, dude, stop it. These tech nerds, man, they, they just out of control. <laughs> they just doing everything they can to try to shine. For what? What are you getting out of it? Drake, man, did you hear the ego of this fool talk about, yeah, I gave you the shine, putting you on my records and gave you some shine. Drake has always, he outsold you on his first album. 
<laughs> he outsold this dude on his first album. What is this fat bastard? What are you even doing right now, fat boy? They were eating off you forever. Everybody was eating off you. I'm serious, dog. I'm serious. It was crazy. It was that, it was that silly what was happening. That's how screwed up the game was. Because that's that's how silly the shit was. Uh, the cash app is Carcino. You know what time it is. But that's how silly it was. This dude trying to say, yeah, where your money at? And who eating off you, Negro? Jay-Z and Diddy made your money. Why you ain't over there helping Diddy? He helped your fat ass out when Jay-Z put you on the shelf. Because 50 exposed you when they found out you was a was correctional officer. You took an oath. <laughs> you took an oath and broke it. You flipped on Trick Daddy. You flipped on everybody. Like Trick said, you was eating table food too fast. He was feeding you table food too fast. And you do anything for a doc. You was the first one in them damn ditty parties. <laughs> Setting up the chairs and tables and shit. Now your fat ass want to come in some drink. That boy will wrap you under a goddamn table. Wrap your fat ass in them damn sheets. Wrap you in your polo sheets. <laughs> Big ass nigga trying to clone Biggie Smalls. Got the nerve to mention Biggie name in your rhyme. Puff needed to be slapped for that. Forget all these cases. He needed to be slapped for trying to turn this fat bastard into Biggie Smalls. GD's had this dude under pressure. <laughs> under pressure. Go, I don't know how you follow this dude, man. <laughs> I was like, his songs is trash. If you ever heard anybody waste some good beats, I swear to God, you take any Rick Ross album, take them beats and give them to any other artist. They would know what to do with it. He is the probably the most worthless, useless rapper I have ever heard. Try to rap. He don't even be rapping. He does not even rap. I don't even know what to call that. I just call that talking. Maserati Ferrari, I get it to mommy. I got some linens. I'm gonna give it tomorrow. Champagnes and shrimp with the steaks for simps. I just had it to do it. Whoop, I'm chilling with wimps. Boy, there's nice sunny weather up there with the nice clouds. I'm gonna come out there before it start raining now. Woo, getting money. That's what we do. Champagne sipping. Oh, uh, and I'll have some brew. But I can't get down with all that past blue ribbon. No, we got to do it and get that to the women. Get them Coronas and change my aroma. It's starting to stink. Boy, I'm getting sleep. <laughs> I wake up, feel like I've been asleep in a week. Then I'm going to buy a new Jesus piece. I ain't cheap. <laughs> Lemon color gators, everybody, like they now later. Whoop! <laughs> Get this garbage rapper out of here. Are you serious? Y'all in there hype over this bum. 
I dare you bring Rick Ross in this conversation. You should be ashamed of yourself. If I was on the Patreon, I would have went way harder than this on this dude. This dude is trash. <laughs> He's been trash for years. I don't know why ain't nobody exposed this bug. He ain't even the real Rick Ross. You got a correctional officer running around here acting like he was the biggest drug dealer in Miami. <laughs> port of Miami. He ain't been on no damn port. If he was there, it was to get some damn fish and steaks. Port of Miami. Everybody's outrapped him on every feature. Wayne Hell, Cali can probably outwrap his ass. This is this is a trash rapper. I don't even know how he's made it this far. The fact he's made it this far is an amazement. He is god awful rapping. I would listen to goddamn. Auto tune, syrup, drippy rap, drill rap. I'll listen to a little Uzi verse album featuring Trippy Red <laughs> before I listen to this. <laughs> this is bad. Anything he's on, I gotta tolerate for about, I'll be like 40 seconds. Okay. God, get Drake back on this record. He is the worst rapper <laughs> of any standard to have this type of success. Go on here and do your trolling on your Instagram and post your little videos and show your house and that. Hold that champagne bottle and do whatever you're doing. Wing stops and all that good. You've been investing good. Dude, keep doing that, man. Because, damn, you are annoying as hell. He annoys the living hell out of him because he can't rap. And trying to front and pretend like he's rapping. Can anybody sit there and break down his bars? They, <laughs> I like a eight-year-old can make better raps than that. Fake teeth, fake every goddamn thing. They had to lipo your ass down. Because you over there slump, slobbering, having a heart attack. Because you done ate so many goddamn cheeseburgers. They had to get your fat ass back in line. All right, I'm done talking about this fat bass. Hey, shouts out to Kwame Brown Bus Life. Welcome to HDI TV, Armando Black TV. Subscribe to the Patreon, which is Carcino for Life. My cash app is Carcino. Don't forget to hit the like button. I'm out the door. I'm, I can't even deal with this no more.